Okay, this is the um, seventh or eighth session. I'm not really sure what it is, uh, but it'll sort itself out at some point. Uh, I'm not exactly sure I'm going to start today. This is kind of at a point where you uh, could start at the top and just work your way down to a completion. But I think I might go right here and do the second layer on this. Kind of finish, maybe possibly finish this call of the day. And um, this is good. This needs a little bit of highlighting. And I still have to do that. The lily pads will probably be the last thing. Uh, I expect this to be the last session. But I've been wrong before on this one. So, I'm going to bring this thing over so we get that more into the line of the camera and at my <coughs> working level. <coughs> Not sure what's going on there. I'm going to use a flat brush for this part, I think. Um, and I'm not going to put my glasses on. Oh, that doesn't smell, sound too smart, does it? But let's see where it goes. Clean brush, and I'm going to go right in for the yellow. Um, yellow is a pretty transparent color, so when you add medium to it, it makes it even more transparent. So I typically add a little white to it. And that kind of... And this time I'm going to take a little bit of this because I want it to be on the soft yellow as opposed to the light yellow. Um, and I need this flat brush this time to uh, make some areas here that you can make with a good flat brush. be a little whiter, a little more white in it, I should say, uh, because there's a hard light right here, and that did it. I figured it might, and then I've got one right here. Perfect. And this pretty much is light, even though it's on the dark side. Um, it is light. Now I'm going to take a little bit of pure color around this, like that. That's medium, uh, cadmium medium, and dark in combination, like that. Bump it up a bit. That the way it is. Put some right here. The sun is hitting this. And this is a very gold fitted fish. I'm gonna soften that line right there. I've had this easel for really, I don't know seven, eight years, maybe longer than that. I can't really remember anymore. It's been so long. Uh, but I've never used the shelf. Um, <laughs> and I think the other day I started to use it. For the last session, maybe the session before, I'm not sure exactly sh which. But I actually started to use this. And I want to increase this white right through there, or the white color. Yeah, that's better. And I'm going to hit this one more time, like that. And I think I'm going to go ahead and whack it there. Come down that way. And I'm going to take pure yellow light right here. Yeah, that's good. And 
is the right color. Then, now I'm going to try to make a move, and I'm just going to use white, I think, a little bit of medium, make sure this thing moves right. I get more than one chance, this is pretty dry now. And then there's some other little ones underneath the fish. There's one right that goes right through this thing right here. And another one. I've left that kind of open to accommodate that. And then I'm going to come in and... No, that didn't quite work. But it will. Over here. tail deal, a little thin, and I'm going to kind of separate that just a bit. This fish is definitely on top of this white one, and, uh, and I want to make sure that that is in fact the way it is. So I am going to lighten it. And that helped. It's not exactly there in the fish, but now I'm going to go ahead and hit this one more time. I kind of did it. Now, let's see. I'm going to take just pure cadmium. shadow this up, make it a little more intense than what it is. And connect this bit. Take the yellow that we've got running here. Take the um, French ultramarine blue and uh, carefully make a shadow here. They have to do that twice. There we go. I kind of did it. And our little guy's got some eyes. So, put a little bit of lizard orange in there. I think I like that. Soften that in a bit. And lighten that. I want to come up from under here under the shadow. A little more. Close. And 
that's that other thing. I still don't know what it is. Take a little bit of red into this. Warm this thing up. You may or may not be able to tell this. Yeah, that's better. Kind of marries up to that. And there's a little bit of that here through here. And a little bit there. And um, right through here, that's very bright yellow. Um, which means I'll have to probably come back in on it at some point here. Now I'm going to take a little blue. Uh, and just darken that up a bit. And there too. There too. I might lighten that, but it's kind of what I would call punctuation. It's still wet from the other day. Alright. Yeah, that kind of works. And um, let's see, I gotta get the right color in there. Put this in my mud pile. I'm only gonna paint for about an hour today. I have to deliver, a, or not deliver, but it's already been delivered, a uh, big reproduction on hard right. It's the biggest uh, reproduction I've done so far or that uh, JFM has done for me. They um, do all of my uh, publishing and um, it was delivered to the uh, client yesterday and today I'm going to go out and hang that puppy or help hang it. Uh, I get to see it. It's really big. It's um, uh, 60, 58 by uh, 76, I think. Goes on a nice big wall. I'll have a picture of it and I'll put it on um, one of these things. I've got, they took films all the way through the process of making this uh, reproduction. <coughs> and uh, it's really kind of cool. So I'll do a little. Uh, film on that, hopefully. Um, I need to get back to what I'm doing here. I was trying to do something here. And there's a... There you go. Got it. It's a connection. This is about glow. Now it's pretty dry. Uh, for the most part I can have a little more control on this thing than I did uh, when I first started it. I'm going to put some in through there too. And this uh, color I just made for this over here is actually uh, perfect for here. Perfect. It takes a very uh, soft uh, application and I think a lot of control I guess and it extends up a little bit on this and it doesn't go much beyond it though it really does start to stop right about here and I think that kind of did that now I have to make a mark I could have made the other day um, a white mark but it had to be done with a, a flat brush can't be done with uh, another brush well, I probably could but you know you don't really want to do that so I have to do this I have to pick it up right from there there we go I think we kind of got that And then there's a little bit of blue. Take this. I think this is about the right color. 
hard to say what this will do. And there's a little glow thing right here with this scar, this thing. So I'm really following shapes at this point when it comes to this part. Um, and I want to take a little more blue because this white fish is picking up some reflections. And maybe not quite that much. Well, I don't know, maybe. Lighten it up a bit. We have to do a couple of things here before this is over, but anything I don't like I can fix that for sure. There's a piece of blue to the light right there. shape the face just a bit. I have enough color here now I think I could probably do it. Take this and grab a wet one. Put this there. And I'm going to do a little when it's kind of dry is anything that you don't like you can fix and I'll take another crack at that I think I'm gonna take another crack at that <coughs> all right subtle but uh, important. It still looks like the eye and I don't want it to. The eye is back a little further and it's right there. I'm just going to reinstate it. And I hope I'm not standing in front of the camera. Yeah, maybe. And I want to put some blue right in there. For the hell of it. Best reason I know. In fact. And it worked, as a matter of fact. Alright, so. Do this again. And turn this a bit. So this is actually darker around here than what I have it, and I'm going to make that one move again on that one spot. And, um, and let's see. I Sometimes you can take one color and another color. <laughs> Let me do this. Let's see what happens. is moving. They both go. Actually, they both are. Take this. Um, break some of this up. Well, it's soft, natural looking. All right. And I think what I'm going to do. Yeah, there you go. That helped. Make some noise. 
is down here. Alright. Okay. Uh, we'll stop this clip and see what uh, it looks like from a distance. If it reads back at 30 feet, then I'm good there. This just has to be highlighted with intense yellow and a little bit of work right here. Well, let me see while I got it. Let me see if I can do this. You know, that, uh, that may have just helped. Not in the reference particularly, but uh, comes to the fish. I don't always follow the rules on those. Look at the distance and see what I can do here. All right. Not a lot. It's kind of like painting white. There's just not a lot of contrast on this particular fish because it's so intensely in the, in the white. All right, let me go look at it. Let's see how that works. Okay, that uh, really worked well. Um, sun's out pretty bright. That's going to mess up with the, uh, the lighting, I think. But color is good. All right. Now we have this fish that kind of cropped up <laughs> at the bottom. Uh, I'm going to do a couple of little things to it since I've got some colors that uh, sort of work within it. And uh, for it. Warm light is hitting the fish is what's happening so that it kind of comes out and um, I'll just pop it back in with some oops that's way too much more than I want just throw it in there I'll knock this out something like that. And then there's a, um, I think that's uh, part of that. Okay. And I'll take the wet one.
get this uh, changed a bit. And it goes in this way. A little green. Because there is a little green in it. And there we go. Love it when a plane goes together. There it is. And well, this comes this way. So I'm going to go like that. And that creates that. And there's a little bit of continuation of this line. And I'm just going to suggest that. other color that we were using a minute ago. Connect the fish up a bit to this. Merge that in a bit. Alright. Now, wipe that off. Come back in with that same, got a nice chisel edge on it. And fish. Once you know their shapes, it really does get a lot easier. generally pretty quiet in the morning when I'm working. There we go. And I can do something right there. Anyways, I got some movement in there. And I think I probably have got enough. I don't need any more. And this is almost right. Do one more thing. You know me and one more thing. Put that aside. I don't know whether this brush will do this or not, but uh, maybe. I'll add some details, like right there. Because they're there. Now, since I've got that dark color, I'm going to put it right there. All right. And I've got to take care of another thing. I don't know that you can see it, but there's a double line right there. And I want to diffuse that like that. I want a single line. I don't want a double line at this point. Which means I'm going to have to come back in and make another thing, but I'm not going to do it right now. I don't think anyway. Alright, 
fish's mouth. So I'm going to try pure white. It looks pretty good. I mean, it's reading well enough. And yeah, let's see if there's anything I need to do here. Probably will come in and hit that again. And um, got him looking pretty good. <coughs> I think what I'm going to do is go into some dark. Um, and um, stuff that um, <laughs> when you wear your glasses you see stuff too. Alright. I am pretty happy with that fish. I think it's just gonna have a warmer color white and I might do that uh, a little later. Still have to decide what this is, and my feeling is that it's it could be a, a lily um, coming up, like through there, into a a bud maybe. But I'll leave it. I could come back in and take it out. I'm not t totally sure about that at this point. It's not critical to the overall of this painting. Just break that edge a little bit. There we go. Let me do a little more before there. You could definitely use the punctuation uh, under and through here and out. So I think what I'm going to do is take the small uh, filbert. I think it's number four. A little bit of this. A little green. A little bit of blue, make it dark, just for you. Let's just see. It's really pretty green, actually. In the rendering, or at least the reference is pretty green. But uh, it's kind of going out with that, in a way. But it's, it's just to be brighter. Yeah, I'll put some stuff in some stuff going here. This will become my punctuation brush for here in this area. More. <coughs> Excuse me. fish out a bit. 
some of the stuff that I was doing there. There we go. I'm going to break into the Okay, I took that opportunity to uh, clean the palette a little bit. No point to have that on the film. And I'm going to add some color here. Take some lavender or violet, I guess. I kind of know what this is, but um, it's part of the fish. Um, and I'm making this a bit light, lighter. And I'll diffuse it a bit when the, uh, right there, I'm going to lift it. I'll diffuse it a little bit with the uh, wet one. And go ahead and put some very light moves right there. And it's right there as well. Blends into this, goes through. And up. It actually goes through this whole thing through here. And a little intensity right there. Ah. <laughs> Another fish right there. You may have seen him before. I actually like him. He's you know, who knows? This here is, you know, I begin to feel like these are demos because I normally talk through demos and I do a lot of them, or have done a lot of them. And uh, I kind of look at these almost as being demos now. Long demos. Ah, where's my brush go? I'm gonna go right over that. Those old fishes under the water. There we go. Alright. Now, I kind of think that works, but I'm going to do something right here. This is one of those things that uh, really puts these lily pads um, or outlines. And there's a, I don't really get to see it, but there's always a reflection on these things. Like, see it through there punctuations, which I'm going to do. I'm really following this uh, reference in a lot of ways now. And let's see, I'll come down through there. 
hopefully that kind of solved what I was what was happening there. And uh, there's a little bit of it there since I've got it. start following the light. I do like that fish right there. Well, if I need it. Alright, something else too. It's a little darker than this. Take a little of this kind of neutralize it a bit. Lavender. It's a little bit darker than that. So it kind of goes up into this like that. And it does the same right there. You really got to follow it. And when you're doing this kind of thing, you really do have to follow the uh, reference. And it gets a little bit hairy. But if you do get it right, it's spectacular. Alright, that's just kind of like what it's doing. And I don't know how far I'm going to take that, but, but that should have put the fish under the water um, effectively. Now, just take a little bit of warm to that. that off. The idea is kind of right, but the color is wrong. So, what you might call this, I think I'll take yellow. You might look at this as being the last moves that you make on a painting. That's, that's a better color. There you go. Alright. And there's a little highlight right here. next one. So I've got this color and I'm kind of playing in this area. Uh, this is not a bad color for this. And 
now. fish up here and these two I'm going to try to finish these in this particular move Ridge there that I do not want. Alright. Alright, now. into there. I'm going to take a lizard and orange into this. Sometimes it gives me a, a different color. red. This fish has a red dot <laughs> right there on it. This is going to be the last clip. Uh, I've got to go how paying a reproduction. And um, Tomorrow is swimming in paint. And then I'm hoping that I can, uh, I'm not going to paint the swimming paint on this. The problem with it is that uh, I can't film it properly and you can't do something right. Don't bother doing it. Uh, of course. Alright. Well, <laughs> forgot to turn the camera off so it had been running. Anyway, I want to get down to this. Um, it's kind of like what it is. 
Jesus. A lot of light hitting on this tail. I kind of set it up. before I stopped. And as the red dot. What's really going on is that the fish is um, really in the light. Uh, very much part of the reflection. So let's see if I can find a little bit of a solution here to it. It looks good from a distance. The whole painting looks pretty good from a distance. So happy about that. fish since I've got the light yellows and I'm gonna bring that down get it to eye level because there's a lot of it in here ah, it's not well, that's all right but it's almost pure white you see after you start closing things up um, it really is you can look at these things until you're blue in the face and you don't see it and then there it is big as day Take pure yellow and put it in here, especially in the, the shadow area, because that's where it is. kind of hidden or it's gotten kind of wiped out by all of the overpainting and underpainting and you name it kind of painting uh, but that's about right and the same let's go down to 
this fish back up. Again going back into the yellow. It takes a lot of different yellows to make these things work. That's more the alizarin. So what I think I'm going to do is put a alizarin in there. Yep. And that's it. Okay. And I can put alizarin out in a number of days. So. dogs are in the background chasing each other and uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of I'm add another color <clears throat> this is a blue ridge color oh, hasn't been open in a long long time it's a very red red it's probably a cadmium deep red or something I don't know got it free and I've been using it every once in a while to do certain things. To make things pop. And believe me, it does. And when it's done, I probably will buy some more. And it's there. It's just charging this uh, painting now. <laughs> And I suppose this is one of those saturated colors again. And uh, so something I couldn't do with a line. I'm gonna come in and do it another way. Red there. There's that red there. Yeah. A little bigger, maybe. Right, that's a very spotty little fish. Um, I suspect it looks pretty good at a distance. yellow. Probably going to have to clean this up in detail. Don't want it uh, fussy. That's not a good thing for any painting really. And let's see. All right. I'm going to take my this and um, I'm not sure really what I'm going to do with it. That's fact. I'll do this a little bit. I'll leave those black or those red spots in that tail because that's very often <coughs> where it is. Take some green. Before I close, the dog's about ready to bust loose. They're tracking each other. It's not generally good for me. The scarlet starts to get vocal. Um, I've never really done any 
original. Not quite the right color. It's a little more blue. Oh. Guys are having fun, huh? up to this one. So this car par partially put in and through here. And under here. So I'll do some stuff here and that this is kind of at a point where it stands out. And it connects up that way. And I'm going to take the red, or reds, into this. Some blues, whatever the heck it takes. Whoops. Not that much. That's part of that fracturing thing. And this is very dark right there. Always has been. I just red. I'm going to have to make a better deal of this. But I'll do it when I get back or in the next session. Alright, a bunch of little dabs. all of these and blue I guess all of this together got all kinds but I just made more of it that's all that's blue but they do need it to be blue so we'll come in take some of this here take a little of that Mix all that together. This may or may not be right, but we'll see. We will see. Come in like this and dirty it up a bit. here, at least what I'm seeing, and here it's kind of a curve, and, uh, and there's way more of it. And I haven't decided how far I'll go with that kind of thing on this, just that I will go somewhat on it. There we go. And this fish has got a little bit of it. Take some of this. When it went up here, it wasn't quite the right color. And still really isn't either. I'm just going to go with straight blue, I think. And it'll kind of match 
up to this right here. And I'm kind of happy. Oops. So I definitely will work on that tail. About the only way you can really do these kind of things like this is you gotta follow the movements and the colors and just keep adjusting it as you go <coughs> until you get it where I want it, where you want it. In this case where I want it. Alright. And this has got some very subtles right through there. It goes in and it comes back up. Be a little darker, a little greener. Yeah, needs to be bluer. Blue seems to work with this better. Or with this idea. It's better. Yeah. Again, it's one of those kind of moves like this. And you come in with some pure blue and you make some marks and they marry up to that. See that movement right there. And, um, and what there is, is there is a branch and it uh, hasn't been my intention to put any of that kind of thing in. Uh, but sometimes you gotta do it. See how I'm going in a direction with it? Now this is just pure um, French ultramarine blue. Cause I don't want it uh, real, real bright. And I'll just kind of fake that in. Hopefully it'll look like what it is. If not, well, I don't know what I'll do. Got some dark right through there, and it marries up to this. And I actually like the color blue in this. Possible I'll change some of it, but uh, put the count on it. And this has a little more detail like that. Just moving, moving the direction, breaking up one thing after another. distance. I think I've run out of time for this project for the day, or for at least this morning. I'll get this back up about where it belongs. Hopefully. Yeah, about there. Okay. See you in a bit.